Hello my favorite foodies. Today we are going to be making homemade pumpkin pie for the holidays. Let's get started. Okay, we have flour, ice cold water, salt, sugar, shortening, and some cold butter, and some cinnamon. Okay, let's start by putting all the ingredients into a mixing bowl. I'll first give it a mix with a wooden spoon and then I will switch to the pastry cutter just to kind of mash up the shortening and the butter. Next, as you're mixing it, go ahead and add uh, your tablespoons of, wa of the ice cold water. Um, just add one or two at a time. You don't want it to get too mushy. Okay, now I'm just going to get in there and mix it by hand. This is what the dough will look like. You'll want to see, see the little pieces of butter and shortening in there. That's okay. Next, I'm going to cut the dough in half and um, put them in two separate, um, either saran, you can wrap them in saran wrap or put them in a sandwich bag because I didn't have saran wrap today. And then we're going to place them in the refrigerator to let cool and let the dough harden before we roll it out. And next, we'll start on the filling. We have salt cinnamon, clove, nutmeg, some vanilla extract, some pumpkin spice, you can barely see it in there, but it's there, pumpkin puree, sweetened condensed milk, evaporated milk, and two eggs. Okay, let's put all the filling together.
All right, now grab your whisk and whisk away. We want to get the filling nice and creamy and mix everything up nicely. Now I'm just adding the rest of the sweetened condensed milk. Okay, next, let's just get the flour on the countertop and let's roll out the dough. And remember, homemade dough does not have to be perfect. I add a little bit more flour on top just because I see that the dough sticks to the rolling pin a little bit. As you can see, the edges aren't perfect, so I'm just gonna try to pull it together to make it a little bit nicer around the edges. But again, that's the beauty of homemade. It's not, and it doesn't have to be perfect. Now the hard part's coming up, trying to get the dough off the countertop and into the pie pan. I'm just gonna pull up the edges and kind of roll it up on the rolling pin as, as good as you can. You can always fix the dough once you place it inside the uh, pie pan, the way I do here. Don't mind the chatter, that was just me talking with my daughter while I was getting this pie together. As you can see, I'm just trying to make the crust go all the way up on the sides. We're just trying to put it together so it looks a little nice. <clears throat> as, <clears throat> as you can see, the uh, dough does fall apart when you put it into the pie pan but if you just keep messing with it and kind of making it the way you want it it will come out just fine Okay, now we're ready to put in the pie filling. Okay, we're gonna bake it for 15 minutes at 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Then we're gonna lower it, the temperature to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and bake for another 45 to 55 minutes. Okay, let's get it out of the oven. Here it is. We're gonna let it set for one to two hours on the countertop and then we'll cut into it.
All right, it's time to enjoy. Gonna add some whipped cream to it. If you like this recipe, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more delicious recipes like this, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when more uh, recipes are put out. And the recipe will be in the description box down below. Happy eats, everyone.